What is up guys, it's Tang here, and today I'm back with another video. But instead of making a Call of the Wild video, we are making a Halo video. Yes, you heard me right, a video on Halo. And this is about the recent changes with Halo moving to Unreal Engine and the rebrand to Halo Studios. Keep in mind what I'm going to say in this video is just my opinion, and you're welcome to agree or disagree. So without further ado, we're going to get right into it. So recently on the official Halo YouTube channel, they posted a video called A New Dawn. They also revealed this at the Halo Championships this year. And it shows off the new environments of Halo within Unreal Engine. And my goodness, they look gorgeous. I mean, take a look at all these environments. This looks so good, honestly. The team has really outdone themselves. But of course, I'm not going to keep my hopes up, and I'll talk about that later on in this video. In addition to the environments, we also see Master Chief with his iconic Mark V armor from Halo Combat Evolved, alongside him holding the classic Halo CE Magnum, fighting off a pair of Covenant Elites. This has to be teasing a Halo Combat Evolved remake. I mean, come on. If they're showing off Master Chief in his Mark V armor alongside the Halo CE pistol, it's got to be leading towards a Halo CE remake. Anyways, going back to the environments, normal like forest kind of area still looks really nice. The snow biome looks really nice, but what really intrigues me about the environments is this. They just showed off the Blightlands. For those who don't know what the Blightlands is, this is basically a region that has been overtaken by the Parasithic Flood. Could this mean the Flood are returning to Halo? I really hope that's what it means. Because we really haven't seen the Flood since Halo Wars 2 with the Awakening the Nightmare DLC. And then we get to see more shots of Master Chief in his Mark V armor, the CE pistol, and the Elites. Still looking really good in Unreal Engine 5. Now if this does lead to a new Halo game, the question is, is it going to perform well? That's the question. If it plays out well, that's going to be great. Another thing too is that I'm just hoping that they do release it and the game is complete. Not like what we saw with Halo Infinite where it was released but it was just unfinished and then the content didn't start coming until later on. And then we had that huge delay between seasons 2 and 3. I'm just really hoping they don't make the same mistake that happened. Despite what happened, I still think Halo Infinite is still a decent game, but I still think it could have been a little bit better, to be honest. And the video wraps up with this beautiful shot of Master Chief putting his pistol on the side and pulling out the energy sword. And then it says, A New Dawn, and then goes to show the new development team behind Halo, called Halo Studios. Of course, this is just a rebrand from the very infamous 343 Industries. And there are people that are saying like, oh, it's just a rebrand of 343. They're still gonna screw up Halo. But we gotta keep in mind, the same people that worked at 343, who originally worked on Halo Infinite, those people have been gone. Bonnie Ross, Frank O'Connor, all of them have been gone. And one of the guys that's leading the team, he was the same guy that helped resurrect the Master Chief Collection. However, I am not gonna keep my hopes up because the curse from 343 Industries could still be lingering through this studio. Another thing I'm going to say is I'm not going to be like, Oh my gosh, 343 is gone! Ring the bell! Halo is saved! Because you never know, this new team could still screw up. Only time will tell if they do good. I'm going to wait for the games to come out, and then I'll think about whether or not Halo has been saved. And they do say they have a lot of projects in the works. As I've said earlier, Hopefully one of those is a Combat Evolved remake. All in all, these changes could mean that the future of Halo is looking bright. But like I said, I am not going to keep my hopes up. Things could still go downhill. Even though I'm not keeping my hopes up, I'm still eager and excited to see what Halo Studios has to offer for Halo. But yeah guys, that's going to wrap it up to this video. I know I'm a little bit late to the party, but you know, better late than never. If you guys did enjoy, feel free to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Check out the Discord server. Thank you guys for watching. And I will talk to you guys in the next one. Survive.